if you want to sum the last n columns for example last three columns or last four columns or last five columns in a table of data you can use a formula based on the index function in microsoft excel and today i am going to show you the latest trick of sum the last n columns in this video so welcome everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel lookup series into your favorite channel that is technical portal and this is your host Pritam. To learn more and further details please watch this video till the end. So here in this example of database I am simply going to input the last n number that will contain like 3 or 4 or any value according to your database and the total amount of last that columns will appear into this K5 cell right the key to understanding this formula is to realize that the index function can be used to return a reference to entire rows and entire columns so suppose i have input number two here so the last two columns will be added into a sum product formula and the total summed value will appear here so we need to input the formula here like this look at here carefully equals to at first we are going to use the sum formula here then into the sum formula we need to nest the index function here we need our table array reference so what our table array will be our table array will be from c5 to h8 you can look at here you do not need to select the upper or the left hand side values into your formula so insert a comma now it is asking for row number as we are not going to sum the rows so we are simply adding the number 0 here insert a comma now here we need to again insert and nest another function that is called columns we need the columns function here now here again we need to insert our data reference that is from c5 to h8 close the parenthesis minus now here we need to apply our trick that is open parenthesis here at first select the cell reference where your value of n will be inserted minus 1 close the parenthesis then colon now we need to again repeat the same process that is we need to insert at first index function in the array we need to select this table reference that is from c5 to h8 comma 0 comma again insert the columns function here again select your data from c5 to h8 close the parentheses and hit the enter button look at here it is showing you an result and if we check the value of this sum product value it will show you the accurate result you can see here that means it is showing you the accurate result and if you change the value from 2 to 3 it will show you the result according to your database right so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i will come back soon with another interesting video i will give you the link of downloading this excel workbook into my description box please check that till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing